it took 12 people to manhandle the blocks of cheese and get it boxed and packaged and made and so on. And now we have one to two people that uh, push the buttons and make sure the computers work and so on. I think we make the best Swiss cheese in the world. We've uh, had a chance because of the family's philosophy to reinvest in the plant. We have the most modern Swiss equipment in the world. We have some of the uh, best workers in the world. We certainly have a cheesemaker who's on world uh, championship type quality, caliber. And uh, yeah, I think we can compete very well with the rest of the world. Right now in this particular period of time, there's about 4,000 types of cheese in the world today. Uh, we still feel that Swiss cheese is the uh, king of the cheeses. It's the most difficult to make of all cheeses because you have so many different fermentations within the cheese itself taking place. We want our customers to know that it's going to be the best, the best that we can do always. When there has been a question as to quality going into that package, uh, it always, uh, inferior product has always been rejected. Even now, um, product coming in, blocks coming in to be cut and wrapped or, or looked at, uh, inspected upon arrival and if, they, if it doesn't meet our specifications it's rejected right then. So there's no, you know, no need to keep on looking back and wondering if something is going to hit you in the back of the head because it's, it's just a given that we provide quality. Well, you can't go to a store and say we want to sell you Swiss cheese and let somebody else sell them the other products. They want a truck to pull up and unload Swiss and cheddar and mozzarella, Munster, Monterey, the whole line. So they, they not only want all the types of cheese, but they want the variety in the different types of packages. I love cheese. I remember the, the first time I walked in here applying for a job and the, your initial smell of the plant is, is pretty strong and, and I remember the first two weeks uh, I made cheese. I thought, man, I can never eat a piece of cheese again, but yeah, we'll all go down to the, the sampling table and, and, you know, take bits and pieces of it. And my kids get ornery with me at home if we don't have the cheese in the refrigerator and say, what's the deal? I, my folks or my dad works at a cheese plant and yet we don't have any cheese. And yeah, I really like the product. You know, you hear so many people say, oh, I've got to go to work. But I wake up in the morning and say, I get to go to work.